Hi all, my name's Hannah and I'm the C5 Nut. Right, today we're going to be talking about these electronic switches for the hydraulic system on the Citroen C5. I've got one here that's just a standard up and down button which is very common on the LX and the SX. And also I've got the other model which is the exclusive one which has the sports button so today i'll be there uh, talking about well basically how to uh, what the wiring diagram is for these um there's no wiring diagrams out there at all about what wire does what and that's something i'm going to talk to you today about um Quite a lot of you have messaged me on Facebook, obviously, um, before I started this YouTube channel. Uh, I do have a page called Hannah Custom Zandover, which is uh, a page I have on Facebook. And uh, that's how I uh, originally started um, doing all my modifications and stuff on there. But I had quite a few issues with uploading to Facebook, so obviously I've now come to YouTube and uh, started the C5 Nut. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is explain to you people out there about switches and stuff like this. Um, stuff that you can't find any wiring diagrams for at all. Um, I can tell you exactly what pin does what and... Um, basically if you do what i do which is make stuff out of random bits and bobs you might be able to make this be as a part of one of your projects so um if you guys have been following me lately you know about my uh citroen c5 caravan which i've uh in the process of coming you know i've i've got the basics done so all the hydraulics and everything else is all working and it actually uses one of these to actually make the system work. So, um, yeah, there is um, a few, um, uh, there's a few add-ons which I'm in the process of sorting out. So the actual C5 caravan will actually act like a proper, like, like it was originally in a car. Um, so I'm having to source um, some help uh, elsewhere with regards to programming and things like that programming computers and things like that isn't my forte um so yeah um so hopefully sometime after this lockdown i'll be able to focus more uh on the c5 caravan and hopefully fingers crossed we might actually be able to finish that project this year um that would actually be nice um so yeah Right, so um, I know that my camera that we currently use here is all sort of backwards and whatnot. So I've enlisted my trusty GoPro. Unfortunately, I've broken the mount, so I had to find a bottle and sort of glue it to at the top. So hopefully, um, you know, obviously what you can see from there, hopefully I'll be able to get some video footage off this. With me actually doing it you know um so you can actually see exactly what i'm talking about right well let's crack on <clears throat> right okay so as you can see this one here is the exclusive um type uh now the difference between the standard so the lx and the sx it's obviously one says Citroen and the other one says Sports. Now the the basic models like the LX, they just have a hydroactive free. Um, so basically when you actually get in the car, the pump automatically runs up and uh, corrects its height. But that's about it. And obviously you can move the car up and down. Now this one here, the Sport Edition, uh, is only on the hydroactive uh, free plus which involves uh, an extra two spheres um, and like I said these are on the exclusives um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this one um, about what pins do what 
and everything else. Right, now I will be uploading uh, a photo and so the photo will actually show it being upside down or basically from there to there. Um, but the pins start from uh, number one being here, number two, number three, number four, number five and number six. Uh, like I say, I will put uh, a photo up in there. Now, um, the wires is this one here. And as you can see, it's just got a grey plug and it's just a load of white wires. Now, I can tell most of the wires apart from two. Uh, and that's only because the wording is really, really small. Um, I'm, I could just about read it, but I can't make out the proper numbers for it. So what we're going to do is put this cable aside and I'm going to be using another cable. Now this cable is actually off uh, electric window uh, switch on the C5 doors. Uh, the reason why I want to use this cable is it's, it's colour coded. Um, even though the plugs are roughly about the same, um, the actual lugs themselves are slightly different. Um, so you've got a lug there on this one, but on this one it's the other side. But uh, they're still fit. So for this demonstration, I will be using the electric window switch. Uh, so I can actually show you guys um, regards to this uh, switch. So I'm going to put that cable off to one side. So today we're going to be talking this one. So I'll quickly plug that back in. <coughs> Okie dokie. Right. Well, what can I say? This wire here, which is... Uh, pin 5 is the earth terminal So I've got my trusty power lead here, so I'm going to attach that to that one So just to make the lights work uh, We want pin 1 So we're having a look and pin 1 is this white one So if I hold it there and get to my other lead don't know if you can see that, I'm just switching it on and off. Hopefully you guys can see that. The actual light lights up. Uh, there's also another light which illuminates this sports button. And that is actually pin number two. So it's this brown wire. Hopefully you should be able to see this one, it's quite bright. So when I touch that, yeah, you can see that one. That one works. Now, if you put um, the white wire and the brown wire together, obviously the lights are going to work. Now, all the lights will work, which they do. But that's the only time when you actually need 12 volts on this. The others are actually um, earth. So when you actually hit this button, this wire here actually becomes earth. Um, so what I'll do is I will set my multimeter, not entirely sure if you can see this, I'll just move that up slightly and set it to voltage. Now one wire, the red side, you want to connect to 12 volts and the other side, which is the earth, will then go on to one of these wires. So for the up button, to make that work, we want pin 6, which is a grey wire. Which is that one there. Now when I press the up button, we should have 12 volts reading on the, uh, on the multimeter. Which you can see. Now for the sports button, we want, and I'm just having a quick look down on my notepad. We want pin number three, which is an orange wire. So I connect that to pin number three. And then obviously when you hit the sports button, you still get 12 volts. And then let go. That's fine. And then the, the, the game for the, uh, the, the down button, which is this grey wire. So I attach that. 
press the down button. Oh, she says, and it's not quite working. What's going on here? Have a quick look. Yeah, no, that's definitely pinned that one. I don't think it's on there very well. No, I think I might have a faulty button. I think that's probably why it ended up in my box. But that's not a problem. We can still try this out. Uh, I'll just unplug it and try the other one. So I'll plug that back in. And obviously you can roughly see it's, it's quite faint. I think this one's had it as well. But hopefully no, that's not having it either. Well, there's a there's a first. Yeah, going. Oh, that's why I'm going bottom up. Yeah, silly me. I've actually uh, I should have said the red wire. So I put that on the red wire, push the down button. Yeah, and you get 12 volts again. Right. So, um, regards to um, obviously the wiring. Um, if you're going to use this button. Uh, you don't need to worry about pin number two and pin number three um, because obviously that's what does the sports facility so pin number two is brown which is the light and pin number three which is the orange wire which is the sports button so I'll take that out of the equation so that these these four wires here are for this module here um, so obviously you've got your earth, you've got your uh, light, and then your obviously your up and down button. So um, yeah, what more can I say about this? Um, regards to the actual the numbers uh, of the pins, I will put that in the description for you, so you can actually understand uh, what pin does what. Um, but like I say, uh, people out there, is obviously when you do hit the button. That particular wire will go to earth so whatever appliance you decide to actually run off it um, the signal coming from the switch to whatever appliance will be earth well what can I say um, yeah I can't really say anything more than that um, obviously there's your switches side by side um, yeah if you would like any more information please 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 let me know and I will certainly do my best to, um, what's the word, I'll certainly do my best to help you guys out there. Um, in the next couple of days, hopefully, uh, I will be doing um, a video on that sodding, pain in the neck, traffic master. I mean, we all hate that system. I mean, why on earth did Citroen put that system in that car? I don't know, it drives me, fuck, excuse my language, it drives me beep nuts. So, um, yeah, we will be looking into that sort of system fairly soon. And I have found a way on how to actually bypass it. Uh, there's actually two ways you can go about it. Uh, now, my green C5, yeah, it's doing really well for itself. I've been using it quite a lot uh, for shopping and uh, helping vulnerable people out um, but uh, the, the thing that's driving me nuts a little bit is the carpet um, it's got cream carpets inside the car and the years over the years it's taken its it's taken its toll um, so I will be replacing the carpet in that green C5 um, Decided to go for like a dark, you know, like a, a charcoal type colour. So, uh, yeah, that's something we will talk into. And when I do that, um, obviously I will do the modification to that sodding traffic master. So hopefully um, you guys out there, if, if it drives you nuts like it does with me, um hopefully you you guys out there will be able to sort that problem out um i have in the past unplugged the traffic master module and you lose everything on the stereo there's no sound coming out of it at all uh, so you got your sound from the stereo it goes through traffic master and then back into the amplifier for the uh, for the speakers so uh, yeah 
I will uh, go into the more depth of that. So, not entirely sure if you can hear my voice. My voice is really struggling at the moment. I'm having quite a few issues, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm hoping to keep doing more content. And uh, if you just bear with me, guys, uh, like I said, if there's anything out there you want me to show you, please, please, please uh, let me know and I'll do my best to show you. Well, uh, I think we're going to leave it here uh, for a minute, guys. So if you love my content, please sign up. And obviously, if you want to hear any notifications of the next time I upload a video, um, please sign the bell. Uh, I would love your comments on this particular video. And um, yeah, uh, to you guys out there, please stay safe. And hopefully we all can come together and beat this virus. So, take care. See you soon. Thank you for watching.